Peter, it is always a pleasure speaking with you because I know I'm speaking with you. I know the Jolly Old Elf is going to be coming to town here in Toronto, the Santa Claus Parade. It's an amazing event. How does it feel? So many years that we've talked and so many years you've been part of this. Well, so many years. Uh, uh, this is my 37th parade. And uh, Rudy, we were talking earlier, there's a, just a hint of snow in the air and that means it's time to announce that Santa's coming to town and he's coming to town on Sunday, November the 17th with all the magic, all the floats and all the fun. What is it like to go through year after year in setting this up? I could not imagine because with all the floats and everything that's happening, um, you guys bring magic to the city. You know, the magic really is in the face of the children the smiles on the side of the street. And now we're seeing grandparents who are bringing their children to the same spot, and now their grandchildren, entire families together, three generations, four generations sometimes. That's the magic of the Santa Claus Parade. It's the spirit of Santa that's reflected in the streets of Toronto and the fun they have watching all the floats. Well, I'm so glad to be here, of course, in Santa's Secret Workshop. What can we expect this year? What are some of the new things that are going to be happening? Well, first, let's tell you something very important. The start of the parade, the parade route, is changing. Just on Bloor Street, but it's changing. We used to start to the west of University. We started at Christie and came two kilometers over to University and went south. But that part of the uh, Bloor Street is under construction right now, so it wouldn't work for us. So now we went to the east of University, two kilometers. We're starting at Parliament Street and traveling westbound on Bloor and then down south uh, on University as we've done in the past. So a new parade route, everybody should watch for that. Look at thesantaclausparade.com on our website, you'll find all the details. How many floats are we going to have this year? And do you even have any idea how many of Santa's little helpers are going to be helping out this year? Well, I do, of course, because we plan for the whole year. There are about 1,250 young people and parents who are marching in the parade this year, 34 floats, bigger than ever before, lots of fun, lots of activity, and by the way, lots of music. We've got 20 marching bands again this year, and that provides all of the great sound and noise and fun that makes the Santa Claus Parade such a special show. Now, people should realize, too, the clowns. There's something very important about the clowns, because the clowns are there, and actually, they're there to actually help, how do I put this, they give money back in their way of being part of the parade. They do. They're special clowns. We call them celebrity clowns. They're men and women who are business people for the most part, who each give $1,200 as a donation to the Santa Claus Parade, and they march in the parade as a brigade at the very start of the parade. Celebrity clowns, and they lead off the parade. So a lot of fun, a lot of, uh, oh, 150 probably. Lots of clowns, lots of fun. Of course, Santa and Mrs. Claus is going to be there. Santa and Mrs. Claus will be here. Do you know, Mrs. Claus, this is her ninth year that she's come to the Santa Claus Parade. It all started when Mrs. Claus, on the day of the media event nine years ago, she said to Santa, you don't take me anywhere. And he said, all right, get in the sleigh, let's go. And down they came. And she now has a prominent place in the parade. Her float is the float before Santa, of course. And they'll both be here. They'll both be here today. I, I've already talked to Santa. He's coming down to the media reception. But both will be here today for lots of excitement. Okay, and one other thing people should realize too, bring your letters for Santa to the Santa Claus Parade. It could get to Santa immediately. You know, we're so appreciative. Canada Post every year sends uh, their, their, as volunteers, their letter carriers come out and collect the letters for Santa. Of course, it's Santa Claus, North Pole, and the postal code is HO. H-O-H-O. -O. So bring your letters. We'll pick them up. We'll send them to Santa. And that will be the start of the Christmas season for all the young people. And of course, one more time, where do you go for the website to get all our information for Santa Claus? Go to the 
santaclausparade.com. You'll find everything, including the map that shows you the new route just at the start, only on Bloor Street, but good to look at, and some helpful hints for what you want to do dress warmly on Parade Day. And we'll see you all there. Merry Christmas, my friend. And Merry Christmas to you. Thank you.